late last night, went around, checked out some cars. The Jag made it, which is the important part. A few little hiccups here and there, but we're about to roll out the fenders, then go gambling. I mean, on the highway, they don't rub unless you really slam the brakes, but we're not gonna be on the highway anymore. Pavement is lava. Taking the Jag to a gas station. We got our fuel pump wiring lower so it doesn't short out on the roof. We've already been gambling the whole time because we're in a Jag, but we're about to do some proper gambling. Now we're getting a little more room for these 30s. So now Cinderella's gonna try to make it up this hill climb. It's definitely the steepest, loosest thing we've tried to climb. Oh, she's got it. <laughs> so close! You buried it! Well, I would have made it if I could keep the front tires on the ground. So don't grab the hot muffler? Don't <laughs> grab the hot so, muffler, yeah. That's a negative. Is, is that word on the street? Right, sounds good to me.
but this guy's wearing a gorilla suit, so... Sunday morning at the Gambler. We have dust in our souls. We're trying to give Mike his battery back. And our, our trunk decided that it's not gonna open today. Yeah, that's uh, it just decided that. We're thinking about giving it a good pry and then just grinding it off if nothing else is gonna work. And at the end of the day, people managed to pick up a lot of trash. which is something pretty cool about this event. Well, we decided to drive her home. Maybe it wasn't the most grand idea. <laughs> oh, it was a fantastic idea. I gotta say by now we are proud Jag owners because she yep. did make it her 500 miles. Gonna try taking another hose that we don't need so much, swapping it over there. She made it. Against all odds. <laughs> the dogs are happy <laughs> you're home. <laughs> Against all odds, 
The Jag made it home after using about 20 gallons of water and probably 50 gallons of gas. <laughs> <laughs> she made it all the way home from Oregon. We love the V12 and the manifold that we built and everything, but this engine is just toast, as you guys have seen. I think the obvious answer is a big block V8 because they're cheap and in theory, this transmission would bolt right up to one. So, you know, 454, something like that. We can keep the air filter out the hood, maybe even get a supercharger down the road. Cause this thing's so cool. Like, I don't know if you can tell from the videos how lame and slow it is, uh, but it looks super cool and it's really fun. So it'd be nice for it to actually have some power. And look how good these two look together. Oh yeah. The crunchy taco. The Jag, and last year's Gamble. Oh yeah. And we want to give a huge shout out to Clinton from Dirt Garage for making this video possible, and Mike from Moto Mule. We'll have the build of the Jag in the description and links to their channels in the description. And our new shirts are in stock and in the store. Yep. They don't look like this unless you chop the sleeves off, but. And gamble in them. <laughs> but you can do it with it what you please. Exactly. We were originally thinking of calling it Jagenstein because it's kind of a Frankenstein's monster sort of thing. But then somebody on Instagram came up with Jaggernaut, which is way better, especially if we put a giant big block V8 in the front and give it a ton of horsepower. Jaggernaut would be perfect. Yeah, I really like it.